you have to be super excited about good breakfast today's breakfast idea is about suji the semolina namaste salam alaikum sasriyakal welcome back to another breakfast idea session and let's first start with by making a simple suji khichdi there are two kinds of suji one is the coarse one and one is a fine one and here we're going to use the coarse one add coarse suji and in this we're going to add the moong dal moong dal also add equal quantity usually i prefer extra dal because dal has got good amount of protein just mix it once after you add let it cook for just one whistle when you get that khichdi kind of consistency we're going to do the tempering add salt this should be good enough for my khichdi when this cools down this slightly thickens add ghee in a pan usually i love to do the tempering with ghee if you want red chili and mustard you can add but i'm going to skip red chili and mustard in this i'm going to go with cumin seeds a little bit of pepper and some cashew nuts i love cashew nuts so i'm going to add some cashew nut and slowly let this cashew nut fry in the ghee add some chopped ginger some chopped green chili i'm just going to add a little bit of curry leaf that to tear it just for the flavor one beautiful thing about these kinds of suji khichdi is you can add vegetables to make it nice for your kids add some green peas some grated carrot that's it this is nice and add this mixture to the khichdi mix this and your very refreshing tasty khichdi is ready i love my khichdi little bit soft but if you want little bit thick you can always make it slightly thicker now look at this how beautiful wonderful this is such a delicate thing and i'm telling you you will just love it the richness of the protein in the dal this nice khichdi the second suji recipe is arm press dumplings we call it kudumulu you can call it kolkata and so many other names so this arm press dumplings for this recipe we're going to start with tempering add some oil add mustard seeds some cumin seeds red chili kind of flakes and add urad dal you will know why i added the flakes when i do the dumplings add pinch of hing green chili chopped curry leaves again you will know why i added the chopped ones here add some chopped onion add water basically we're going to let all this boil in this we're going to add some chana dal i have soaked it by the time this is done they will get slightly soft add salt to taste in this we're going to add the suji add little by little and just make it the way you make upma just mix this and keep adding the suji this entire thing is getting thickened and when you bring it to this consistency stop adding suji now this will become slightly dry and perfect for making the dumplings do not stop mixing keep mixing like this you have to look at the consistency this will now become slightly kind of smooth and perfect when the mixture becoming into one lump switch off the flame put the lid on the dumpling mixture is all ready so we're going to take it in a plate now you see everything is nicely mixed up so what they do is breakfast in kind of uh, temples and lot of uh, the vegetarian families do this so just apply little bit of ghee onto your hand old grandma style arm press dumplings so here look at the how beautiful and wonderful they are they usually keep this ready when you sit at the dining table they take some hot even the hands will be slightly burning and they give the dumplings everybody loves the rava idli the suji idli but you can make excellent vada with the suji so here the technique is you let the suji soak and it takes around 15 minutes for the batter to get ready for making this we are going to take the suji so put here is the suji in this add a little bit of salt and also the flavorings are the cumin seed the crushed pepper green chili chopped curry leaf pinch of hing some chopped coriander we're going to first mix all of this the curd add the same quantity of water the suji has to soak well mix all of this together 
and we are going to let it rest for around 10 to 15 minutes. 15 minutes is ideal and if this mixture is become too hard you may have to add some more moisture. In this add very little of soda. This soda will give that aeration you can see those bubbles forming just mix into this when you fry it you will see that nice bubbles forming. When you wet your hands you will be able to you know make them into nice round dumplings. Make a small hole in between and drop like medu vadas. When you have these vadas done they will be looking really like the regular vada but these are made with suji and this is another fantastic breakfast idea for you guys. And when you love them, you got to say whatever. The excitement is building up, isn't it? We got to the vada. Now we will get to the thick dosa, what we call uttappa. We call it adai. We are going to make it with the suji. Here, we are going to add the suji. In this, add rice flour. And little bit of maida for a better binding. Add pinch of soda. You can add baking powder also. Add salt. And mix this. In this only difference is we are going to add lot of vegetables including beans you know finely cut the vegetables whatever you want I am adding some corn you know I love coconut in this kind of breakfast items add chopped tomatoes usually on top if you add the tomatoes it is good but here we can add here grated carrot some finely chopped onion finely chopped curry leaf. The spice and the flavorings we can add. Add some crushed pepper from the ding chick and add some cumin seeds. Mix all of this once again. Look at this, lot of vegetables. We are going to add buttermilk in this. Just pour in the buttermilk and make the batter. Mix this and let it rest for few minutes. With all the vegetables, just pour this. Look at this. Just bring it in the shape you want, that should be good enough. On this, add oil. To make sure it cooks well on both sides, put the lid on. The steam will help it cook nice and good. You can see, because of the lid, it gets slightly better cooked. And also, just turn it to the other side with love. This is good and nice and perfect. Aroma of the buttermilk along with the vegetables, this will taste very good. Especially you will love it with sambar, chutney, pickle. Just turn it to the other side. Nice, perfect, rava breakfast is ready. You can also make them small or you can make them nice like a dosa. Just pour the batter like this. Just roll it like this. You can make bigger and slightly thinner ones. But always pour in oil, put the lid on and you will get a perfect pancake like with vegetables make it nice crunchy and beautiful and turn it to the other side and you have a bigger version of the same let it cook good and nice breakfast best start in the day and you got to serve it nice and hot and this my cashew filled kichdi is what I love mm. Mm. this is just amazing I love lot of cashew nuts. I put it wherever possible. So, mm, this grandma style, arm pressed and even at temples some places they serve this and for the breakfast you take this and along with the chutney, pickle or anything, mm, mm, when you served your loved ones with this, I am telling you that is something. They go out to work, they go to school your love is traveling with them. That's why grandmas used to do this once upon a time. You make it for your kids. Mm. Wow. The nice crunchy crunchy vada. That too. We made it with suji. Put it in sambar. Mm. I even love them with pickle. Here is my suji uttapam. You can call it adai. I have a lot of those recipes. So, mm. Morning breakfast has to be super excitement. Eat awesome breakfast, go conquer the world and keep saying, Vareva.